Hi everybody, I'm Bonnie Fitzgerald and this is my studio assistant, Kira Bell. We're going to give a little demonstration today on grouting. It's the most common question I'm asked. How do I grout? I wasn't listening during the workshop. I forget what you said about grouting. So we're going to show you how we do it. Now the piece we're working on is actually really large and we've already pre-grouted the edges. Now a lot of people say, well, can you really grout two colors? Well, I do it all the time if I really want to punch up a color or downplay a color. Other people just won't do it. I also want you to understand that grouting is completely optional. It's really an invention, I believe, of the Western world. So I'm just not going to worry about it, and I'm going to tape off where I already grouted black because I'd really rather not get a kind of neutral gray mixed in. That's what we're doing on this. The reason I picked neutral gray is it's going to really unify this background. If I choose something else, it'll be really fractured. What we have here is some vitreous glass tiles and some Mexican smalty. And both of those actually grout really nicely. So now Kira is going to observe some safety rules. A lot of people hate doing this, and the truth be told, sometimes they don't do it, but I think it's a really great idea. You should be wearing a mask when you're fooling around with grout. Grout is silicate, it's sand, there's some nasty stuff in it, and you really don't want it in your lungs. We're actually mixing a fair amount here. We've measured out a couple of cups. If I was mixing more than this, I might actually use a paddle on a drill, but we're going to just mix this by hand. So under the heading of wanting to work safe, Kira's put on a mask, and it's, it, I know, she looks kind of goofy, but whatever, it's really a safety thing. So we're using this tub that we bought at the dollar store. The reason I like doing the tub is it's got round corners, so my grout's not going to get stuck in there. It's another great tip. So go ahead, we're going to start digging a little well here, and actually, excuse my reach, we're going to go ahead and just pour some water in. And we're just using tap water. The grout we've chosen is already polymer fortified. It's actually got all kinds of stuff in it that's going to make it really perfect for outside. As far as what kind of grout you want to use, really depends on your project. So check with the manufacturer, ask at your home store. Um, we almost always use sanded grout because our grout lines are inconsistent and they're kind of big, you know, they're, they're bigger than an eighth of an inch. So we really want to be able to use that sand to help get in there. The other great thing about sanded grout is it cleans your tiles because the sand is an abrasive. So now we're kind of at a pretty safe area. I let uh, Kira took her mask off because she's about to pass out. Um, so we've just got this to a nice consistency now. A couple of tricks here. If this were really overly wet, which it is not, we would maybe sprinkle a little more on. If it were overly dry, and I'll let you mix up some more, a great trick is to use the spray bottle because it's so easy to have your grout get too wet in a hurry. So we're just gonna not actually spray because this is pretty close to perfect. So now we have a really nice consistency, no lumps. You can see that it's sandy. And what has to happen now is the slaking process. So we're actually gonna put this tub aside Go have a cup of coffee, wait five minutes, and then we're going to come back. So we're back now after five minutes. We let this grout slake. So we're going to give it another stir. Now, a couple things, more safety things. We're going to wear rubber gloves when we do this. And because this is such a large piece, we're actually going to use some pretty industrial strength rubber gloves. If I'm just doing a small art piece, I might just use um, you know latex gloves from the doctor's office, but don't tell me doctor. Um, I like these gloves because they're going to be really sturdy. Another nice trick that we like to do is to use these pretty decent sponges. Again, if it's a little art piece, I might use a super cheap sponge. But what we're going to do is let that sponge help us spread this grout out. So we're just going to start piling this on and start spreading it out. I like to go in a circular motion. It really gets it into all of the divots in between, all those interstitials, that's what they're called. People often ask me, well, how do you know how much grout to, to mix? I just kind of know. Um, my recommendation is to always read what the manufacturer recommends because in mosaics, many of us are, are doing all kinds of odd grout lines. It's really hard to judge. So you mix what you're going to mix and um, hey, it doesn't last. So you got to use it all up once it's mixed. And just remember, grout's not an adhesive. If a piece falls out, you can't think you can just stick it back in and it's going to stay because it won't. It'll fall back out. OK, 
Okay, so we've done a pass on this and we've pretty much cleaned off that top layer of grout. Now we're going to go ahead and gently remove our tape because we want to be able to clean up those edges and feather the gray grout into the black grout, wherever need be. So now we're just going to go back and try and clean up where the grout meets the black, where the two colors are, are meeting. And if it needs a little rub, I might just go with my finger. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially in this case, because this is on a second story building. And it's just not going to be seen up close. Remember, mosaics are really best when you look at them from several feet away. A great trick is a dry paintbrush can really help move some of that dust and dirt around. What's going to happen now is we're going to let this dry out, um, cure is the proper word, for probably about a half hour and then we'll give it a really great buff and you'll see it's really going to look, look spectacular. Okay, we brought this outside so we could kind of minimize the mess inside. What we're doing is we're taking some dry paint brushes, just kind of getting the dust off. We're going with our scrubby. This has been curing for about a half hour, so we're in pretty good shape with cleaning it off. And we can actually go in and really give it a nice dry scrub. You can see pretty quickly where we've been and where we haven't. So remember, if you're going big or going small, Keep your grout dry, try not to reintroduce water, and make it a fun process and a safe process. See you soon.